Let's try. It works. I heard a click. Empty. It seems so strange. There's something that doesn't add up in this crate. Let's see. Just as I thought, there's a false back. I just need something to pry it open. It should work. Bingo! The nail file got stuck, but it doesn't matter. There's something a lot more precious inside. It's another piece of the map, and I think it's the teach one. Everything I need. My recipe is practically done. It will be a drink that is sure to make waves in the world. Non-alcoholic, dark colored, sparkling. It can even cure a headache. I wouldn't want to ruin your dream, but I think that already exists. Actually, I believe you're even in danger of clashing with some mega corporations. I know the market very well. I managed to isolate and replace the secret ingredient with another. Really? Which one? Well, it's the root extract of a... Hey, ah, nice try, boy. You almost had me going there. It's the only ingredient that is not present on the list. Take it. I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Better read it away from prying eyes. Wait a minute. This list is a bit strange. I can glimpse something under the text about the ingredients. It's a receipt. It says, I, Dr. Alfred Every, on July 15, 2008, deliver to Steve Bonnet the artifacts found in the basement. In exchange, Mr. Bonnet transfers to the Every family, free of charge, the property of the building where the family business is actually located. The agreements will not be disclosed. Yours faithfully, Dr. Every. It's countersigned by Steve Bonnet, too. To which artifacts is Dr. Every referring? If the agreements have not been disclosed, the only one that would know anything about it is Uncle Steve. I'd better get over to his office to investigate. Weird, Steve's not here. In the meantime, I could inspect his office looking for the receipt of Dr. Every. So weird. There are no notes on these papers. They're all blank. What can they do? Wait a minute. There's a button under here. I could be wrong, but they seem to have been placed in the way to hide something. There's nothing. Let's see what happens by pressing it. I wasn't expecting this. I just thought it was a drawer with some kind of mechanism. closed back automatically. There's probably another device in this room that makes it open. Why all this secrecy? And what's this room? Better take a look around. A rope is always useful. And what's this? It looks like some sort of diary. There's something inside. I don't think I'm mistaken. This is a piece of the map from Kid's crew. It's surely Every's, the last piece missing. Finally, the map is complete. On this piece, there are some coordinates. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. Brilliant. The coordinates are useless without the rest of the map. The light will guide you. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. It must have something to do with the old lighthouse. There's also a strange coin. Why is it here? What does Steve have to do with this story? There must be something I'm still missing. Let's see if there's an explanation in the diary.
Better let some fresh air in. Good idea. This seems to be the only possible way out. See you soon, Steve. $16.99. The light will guide you. I guess it's praise for the job this lighthouse had to do. I wonder how many ships it helped dock safely. There's also a list of things to do. One, start. Two, steer. It doesn't seem difficult. Okay, let's try. This is the point marked on the map. Let's see in what direction the lighthouse is pointing. Good. Very well. The lighthouse is positioned according to the instructions on the map. The light points in the direction of the cemetery. Better go check. I don't think the X meant to indicate these wooden boards. It'd be better to remove them. Once there was a legend, to access the afterlife, a boat toll was required. Maybe this coin wasn't used as currency in the earthly world, but rather to pay the ferryman for a journey to the afterlife. Let's try. Where did I end up? It seems like a natural cave. 